Before moving on, you might want to go to Elfheim and stock up on gold needles as being stoned isn't cool. Then, if you're using any mages at all, you might also want to go back to Provoca to buy some ethers as the spells you just bought cost a lot of MP, and where you're going next you won't be able to use a tent for a while. This only applies if you have MP, so never mind on the NES or PS1 versions. Then, go back to Melmond and start going south. Then, head south. And now, go south. And eventually you'll come to the Cavern of the Earth. Upon entering, there's nothing if you head west other than the Hall of Giants, which has a tough battle for every step you take. But you can consider it a side mission to see if your light warriors are up to snuff to go from one side of the hallway to the other. If you've been an insane crazy person about grinding like me, you'll probably not have a huge problem to do this, but you might want to level up a little elsewhere in the cavern first. If you want to just go to where you need to go, then go east to which leads to the next floor. You'll be in the northwest corner and you want to go the opposite side in the southeast corner. On the third level, you want to go all the way around this spiral to get to the vampire boss. Grab the ruby and either go all the way back or use teleport until you leave. For all the treasure, go north on the first floor, then south before going east. Check the northeast and southwest passages on the second floor and just check every door you pass on the third floor, except that one. Ignore that door. Now you got a ruby. Take it to the stone golem in the cave west of Melmond, which he loves to eat. And he'll give you something to give to the sage on the other side of his cave, which will then give you something to delve further into the cavern of earth. So, getting this, go all the way back to where you fought the vampire, and behind him is a ladder leading down deeper into the cavern. This is like the second floor because you start in the southeast corner and go to the northwest corner and there's treasures in the other corners. On the final level, there's no treasure chest at all, and you just want to go north and follow the path that way until you get to the lich. Unlike the vampire, this boss is pretty tough. It has a pretty high defense, but a much higher magical defense, so you might find it more effective to have your black and red mages use support magic instead of doing damage dealing spells for this fight. Cast Temper and Haste on your physical attackers and they should make short work of the Lich.